your system. You got the driver gear, and the driven gear. Kind of hard to see. Whoa! And not very attached. Here it is. So all it is is I built, like the picture shows, a couple of brackets. Put a bushing on this side, bushing on this side. You can still take it apart, so you can still see it. So two bushings, bushing on this side, bushing on that side. Um, it's good to have these bushings doubled up. It's got a left side and right side. Here too, got a front bushing. I went vertical with that one. In the back, I went horizontal. So two bushings for the driven gear, which in this case is a large bevel. And all a bevel gear is, is, is the teeth have a little bit of an angle to them. And the angle is called a bevel. So that bevel gear is there. I put a little spacer in the back side to keep it off the back wall. The drive gear, same thing here. It's also a bevel gear. Teeth have an angle to them. And they're meant to have you guys run not at a straight, but at an angle. In this case, its max angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, in this case, this is my driver gear. Plugs in. Driven gear, I'm gonna take it apart. Slide the axle through. And then carefully put the drive gear on. And I took it off so you can see better than how I had it before. And I also have my, on the back, I have my backside bevel gear ready to go too that the axle will plug in. So I have that fully supported and ready to go. And in there, okay? So again, in this case, um, here's my driver gear. The driver gear spins, turns to driven gear, okay? So look here from this angle, a little better maybe. Driver gear spins, turns to driven gear. So the nice thing about here is you can have your your input direction at a right angle to your output direction. Let's say you're gonna have say a uh, maybe um, a steering wheel on a car. Here comes your steering column down to a gearbox. All right. Um, many of your parents' cars have this same thing in the back of their. If it's a rear-wheel drive car, front-wheel drive car, um, many rear-wheel drive vehicles have a differential in the back. In which the drive shaft comes in from the motor back to the back end, and here comes your left tire, and then out comes your right tire. So you can have your drive shaft turn, saving your back wheels. Okay, um, it's reversible, meaning can you change rolls? If I try to grab onto the handle up here and spin this, does it work? Let's think here. Yes, it does. This here is reversible. They can change rolls. All right. There's your bevel gear system. Um, to count your, to figure out your gear ratio, number of teeth, number of teeth, and solve it that way.